Nigel back to business, as it were, on Saturday. What a better way to pick up the league campaign than the seven side derby. Yeah, it's it's um, a big game for us, and uh, our uh, our form in the in the league's been much improved. We know, but of course, when you when you get to derby days, it's uh, form is something which uh, can help you, but you've got to be able to deal with the um, yeah with, with the occasion, with the game. That's the most important thing. We've got to we've got to make sure that our um, performance levels remain high. Putting aside the obvious disappointment of the result against mm. Manchester City, how are the players that you've seen this morning? Well, we, we need to look at one or two this morning before we name the side. So it'll be a, a bit of a late shout just because the expenditure in terms of our physical output was huge um, and needed to be because I think everybody could see on the night how, how just how good they are. Uh, but I thought we, we we gave a really good account of ourselves, and um, yeah, it's a shame that we couldn't do better in terms of uh, in terms of the result. But um, you know, I think there are plenty of things to to applaud about how the players went about it. But of course, now that's you know that's that's in the past now. That's something which. Um, we need to move on from and make sure that our league form between now and the end of the season gives us a chance of pushing up the league. You talked after the Man City game about being true to ourselves. Mm. I wonder if you could perhaps just expand on that. Is that is that playing style? Is that courage of convictions? Is that commitment? All of it. Yeah, I think all of those things. You've summarised it pretty well. It's it's. What was important for us is uh, was to to play our own way without wanting to just be in um, a mode of uh, stopping them from playing. I think it was important for us to 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 be as much um, wherever we could to be you know aggressive and positive. And I think that's that's how we've move forward this season and um, you know, but you know to, to do that week in week out um, it, it's not as easy as people think it is and but because you know we play with a lot of high intensity and I think that's something with when you've got a smallish squad that um, you know can can take its toll but our players are in a really good uh, place mentally and uh, I think as importantly, um, physically too. So, you know, we, we'll try to we'll try to keep improving throughout the season. I mean, that's the thing that we need to do, and 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 it's it's the process never ends. It's um, you know uh, we want to try and develop as a as a football inside that is more um, capable of winning all sorts of games. So different time, you know, winning in different styles. And and the players' uh, approach to to taking those sorts of challenges on board is really important. And they've been they've been good this season. You've also talked about looking up the table. Mm. Now, I know you're always looking up the table, but yeah. I, I sense a slight shift in terms of you're no longer perhaps having to look behind you. I think we've just got to be realistic about where we are. I mean, you, you know, the, the, the championship can change very quickly. Um, we talked off camera about, about Reading's situation, and they've been in the playoff places. They're currently on the same points as us. Um, so it just shows you that things can change relatively quickly in the championship. And, and um, we've had a run of games where we've... It, <laughs> It, we've accrued quite a few points, but it doesn't feel as though we've made massive, massive progress. But I think, you know, we, we have to uh, just keep our minds very much on, on ourselves in terms of that. And, um, you know, when, when you get to the, uh, into the last 10 games of the season, the pressure of being in and around the bottom or the pressure of, uh, about being in and around the playoff places can can affect performance. And, and what we've got to try and do is just be very concentrated on our own, uh, on our own games, um, 
as they come about. And, and that's really the, the, the essence to, to trying to put together a, a meaningful run at this stage of the season. We've got to be, uh, we've got to make sure that our performance is right first and foremost. You're obviously monitoring the players you play in midweek. Yeah. In terms of the longer term or mid term players, Cal Naismith, Tommy Coleman, yeah. how, how are they? Yeah, making good progress. Tommy's, Tommy's been training with, um, with the group this week, which is uh, really positive. But we're, we're having to keep him on a bit of a short leash as well, because um, one of the dangers with somebody like him, with his, uh, you know, he's, he's excited to be back training. We've got to make sure that he doesn't um, overdo it in this first period when he's training back with, um, with the first team. So, you know, that's, it, it, it's good to get people like Tommy um, almost back in contention, but he'll still need a week or two uh, of conditioning to make sure that everything's okay, because he's a very explosive player. And, and this is what I'm trying to, uh, this is what I'm trying to explain when I'm saying about how much expenditure that, that some of our players have during games. I mean, we ask a lot of our forwards to both initiate the press, press but also uh, be available um, when we have the ball, especially on the counter. And so, you know, the, the number of um, physical actions that they take during the game, I mean, it's huge. And, and so when you've had a hamstring injury, it's important to, to, to make sure that he's, he's, he's going to be robust enough to deal with the, the demands when he's back. And Cal Naismith continuing his rehab. Yeah, he's, he's, he's doing well. And, and uh, as I've said before, um, maybe before the uh, international break, but if not, definitely after. So, yeah, they're, they're getting closer. We sold out our 3,000 plus allocation mm. for Cardiff City. To have that level of away support, and yeah. it's obviously a big game for the supporters. Many of them will be wearing those scarves they got in midweek. That's yeah, really yeah. encouraging. Yeah, I mean, look, it was. It was a fabulous atmosphere, and and I know from the game last season when we played there, you know we 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 get a great following on the road anyway. But uh, and our fans have had some pretty long journeys recently, so um, good to get one that's more local, and um, we'll be doing everything we can to deliver three points for them.